Today, I'm going to discuss 13 side hustles that you can do from your phone that actually make you more money than many jobs around the world. And this isn't gonna be like every other video you see popping up on the internet talking about how you can make $500 a day by doing surveys online, or as long as you buy their $2,000 Amazon FBA or Shopify course, then you'll be making $10,000 a month within 30 days. Nope, these are going to be things that you can actually make extra money with. No, but seriously, if you try some of those survey apps out, you'll seriously work like eight hours and you'll end up making about 350. No, but seriously, my team and I basically scraped the entire internet looking for people who actually reported making money from their phone and they had a good outcome with a bunch of different apps and a bunch of different side hustles out there. And we got all that data together and I'm basically going to rank all of them from one to 10, with 10 being the best. And on top of that, I've also tried just about every side hustle out there. So I have a lot of personal experience as well. And I've tried many of them on this list. So if that sounds like something that interests you, gently cheers the like button and let's jump into it right now. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about is going to be mock jury. Now, what exactly is a mock jury? Well, it sounds basically exactly like what it is. So you're basically going to be doing sort of a fake jury trial. You are going to be a member of the jury. They're going to be presenting information to you. And then you might give them some feedback on how their presentation was or whether they agree with the information that you presented or not. You're going to get paid. You'll also probably get a free lunch as well. And you make somewhere between 30 to $50, sometimes even more than that in more expensive areas. Now, I'll be honest with you. There were a good amount of positive reviews on the internet about doing mock jury trials. But my honest opinion on this is it's not something that is sustainable. So if you want something that you can make a time Tiny little bit of extra money. It's also relatively interesting because you get to hear about cases and you get to have people present things to you. Then mock jury can be good, but realistically speaking, you're not going to make a lot of money from this and it's not going to be a steady, sustainable type of income. So this one, I'm going to give a three out of 10 money score. All right. So next one on the list is going to be course hero. And basically what you do with this one is you answer questions that students posted on a website, right? So students might be having trouble with their math homework or organic chemistry, something along those lines. Lines. They'll post these questions on a website. Someone will answer them. And if the answer is correct, or if it's a good answer, they will get points and you can redeem these points for money. Now, quick story, Ellie was a tutor, but she was getting a little bit too busy in her life to do proper tutoring sessions because she was just really busy, but she'd have some time here and there, like 15, 30 minutes here and there, but that wasn't long enough to do a proper tutoring session. And plus it was really hard to schedule times during her day where she could tutor students. So instead she decided to do Course Hero and she started answering questions on Course Hero and she made about the same amount of money as the time that she spent as if she was tutoring, but she was able to do it, you know, 15 minutes here during lunch, 30 minutes here during a break, that sort of thing. Now this one used to be really good, but there's one big problem with it. And that is there are a lot of smart people around the world that speak English in countries like the Philippines or India that also do these things like mathematics or organic chemistry. And they can afford to answer these questions for much less than Americans or people from other first world English speaking countries. So it was good for people from first world English speaking countries. And by the way, that's the majority of my audience, of course. But recently, it's not nearly as good. You're probably not going to make nearly as much money because you're going to be competing with people who have of a much lower cost of living. So you can make money from this one, but it's probably not going to be nearly as much as you would think. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a three out of 10 money score. Next on the list, we're going to talk about market research. Now there's a bunch of different apps out there that you can do this with, but basically what you're going to be doing is you are going to be asked questions. And in some cases you're going to be sent a survey or you might have to fill out a questionnaire, or in some cases you'll actually make a quick video where you'll answer questions or give a review. Now this is another one where you have a distinct advantage if you are somebody who simply lives in a first world English speaking country, because that is typically the type of person that these marketers are trying to sell to. And when we were scraping the internet, this was actually one of the most popular methods for making a little bit of extra money on the side on subreddits like beer money. And companies will typically pay out something like 15 to $20 for a little bit of your time. Sometimes they'll even give you like a gift card to Amazon. So this is one where you can definitely make money from it. It's not a scam. You'll probably end up making more than minimum wage per hour if you do it. And it's something that you can just do every once in a while. But with that being said, you're not going to be learning that much. It's not really scalable and it's not something you can consistently rely on to make extra money. So for those reasons, I'm going to give this one a six out of 10 money score. Appen is going to be next on the list. And this is one that 
gives people tasks such as using social media in order to improve social media algorithms. And this could include, but is not limited to annotating data, labeling images, analyzing sentiment, transcribing surveys, etc. And these tasks might take 30 seconds all the way up to an hour, and they'll pay you somewhere between one cent to $20 per hour. Now, this is another one. You can do it straight from your phone. It's one of the most popular ones on beer money, as well as other side hustle related subreddits and forums. You're probably not going to be able to make a full time income from this. But if you combine this one with some of the other apps on the list, you probably could. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 money score. By the way, comment down below if you've tried any of these apps or you know some friends who've tried any of these side hustles. I always love to start a conversation down in the comment section below. It's something that we can all learn from whether you agree with me or disagree with me. I definitely want to hear your opinion and we can all learn something from it. Next on the list is one of my absolute favorites and that is going to be TaskRabbit. Now, I'm not going to give this one a 10 out of 10 for one simple reason, and that is you can't do all of it just from your phone. Now, this is probably the only one on the list where there are literally testimonials on Reddit of people who have made six figures in a single year from the app, and I can see why. Basically, what this does is it allows people to hire you for simple tasks that you would do in real life. So this is not something where you can just do the task on your phone typically. So this would include stuff like cleaning, deliveries, minor repairs, and maintenance, moving boxes, sometimes painting, etc. Now on TaskRabbit, a lot of the time you're going to be making $35 an hour or even more. And I've actually used TaskRabbit. In fact, I used it the last time I moved. And basically, if I were to hire a moving company, it would have cost me hundreds, if not maybe even $1,000 to do this task that I wanted to because they have minimums. They require you to hire two people at least for at least one day and you have to get a truck, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. They have all these stipulations and things that you have to do. But the truth is, I don't have that much stuff. And I only really needed one person and to hire them for just a few hours. So that's exactly what I did with TaskRabbit. So I hired this guy, it started off at about $35 an hour, but I ended up tipping him and he made $50 an hour. Plus he got a free lunch. I hired him for like four or five hours and I ended up paying him like 200 to $300. So this is a phenomenal way to make extra money. If you really want to make your time count, and if you have extra time, this one is great. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because of the fact that yes, you are going to have to go places and actually do things. So it's not just like, you know, mindlessly scrolling on your phone, like some of these other apps where you can actually make money if you're just bored, you know, in the bathroom or something. So for that reason, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. But if you don't mind going places, this one is a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love TaskRabbit. Next, what I'm going to talk about is selling old stuff or buying and selling stuff, right? This is probably the oldest side hustle known to mankind. And it's just as good now as it was a 1000 or 2000 years ago. So basically, you either sell the stuff that you already own, or you go out there, you find stuff and then you flip it. I can't tell you how many times that I found something for like five to 10 bucks, then I end up flipping it for like 50 to $100. There's so many different things you can do this with. One of the most popular ones is flipping shoes, of course. There's like entire YouTube channels dedicated to that. People also flip watches. Basically, anything where you are more aware of what the market price is than the average person is something that you want to focus on. Now, one thing you can do, of course, is to go to garage sales. You can go to people's houses when they're cleaning out or they're moving. One thing I used to do all the time is I would wait until the people at the fraternities and the sororities were moving out and they would end up either giving stuff away or like throwing $500 TVs into the garbage because these are like rich spoiled kids and they have no concept of the worth of money. And so I would literally just get free TVs, right? They would just throw them away. So this is something that you can make money with at a tiny scale, just doing it a tiny little bit. Even if you're watching this and you're like 12 years old, you can easily do this or it's something you could do part time or it's something you could do as a side hustle or a full time business. So I absolutely love this one because it's going to teach you valuable skills. But with that being said, this is not something where you can just do it purely from your phone. You can use your phone to like, you know, find stuff, buy and sell it, but you're going to have to go places. You're going to have to like talk to people, meet people, that sort of thing. So for that reason, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 money score. Next one on the list is going to be Rover. Now, this is one where you get paid to go and hang out with animals. So you might get paid to go walk a dog, for instance. And as you can imagine, this is incredibly popular. Now, this is one that was pretty good a few years ago when there wasn't as many people doing it. But as you can probably imagine, a lot of people probably want to get paid to go hang out with animals. And so it did get pretty saturated.
saturated. It's not nearly as good as it used to be. And you have to actually go places, right? This is another one where you can't just make money like doing surveys or answering questions on your phone. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10 money score. Okay, so the next one on the list is going to be food delivery. And this of course is something like Uber Eats, Postmates, etc. I think everybody is familiar with this sort of thing. For food delivery, you typically are going to need either a motorcycle or a car. I have seen some people do it with bicycles, but you know, if people have to wait an extra five minutes for their food, they're not gonna be happy. So you're probably gonna get downvoted. So typically you're gonna need like a motorcycle or a car with this one. And for that reason, I can't give it a super high score. This is one that a lot of people also know about. But with that being said, it's still pretty good. You know, you do have to have a car, you do have to go meet people. You can't just do it purely from your phone. But with that being said, I am gonna give this one a seven out of 10. And share this with somebody who's thinking about doing either Uber Eats or Uber or some sort of delivery service, and they want more ideas for how they can make money on the side because there are some better ones on this list. All right, so the next one on the list is going to be a social media influencer, right? So this is one, definitely 10 out of 10, buy my $997 course, just kidding. So this is one where it's gonna take a ton of time for you to actually make money, right? You're not gonna be able to just start a social media account and make money the next day. You probably won't even make money the first first year. You're probably going to lose money the first year, but after two, three years, you might be making a good amount of money. So this is kind of a double edged sword one. So the reason I put this on the list, you might be thinking like, why would you even put this on the list? Obviously this is like a zero out of 10 when it comes to making money right away. But the reason I put this on the list is because you can actually work for a social media influencer. Mr. Beast has tons of employees. He has hundreds and hundreds of employees. He has an entire script writing team, for instance. And this is something that I've talked about on the channel quite a bit. The creator economy is getting bigger and bigger. There are single creators out there that get more views than entire networks, right? Think about that. A single person is getting more views than an entire TV network, right? So these people obviously need other people in order to help them. And if you can be valuable to a creator, whether that's creating thumbnails, uh, helping them writing scripts, doing really good video editing, repurposing their videos on TikTok or other, you know, short form video content, et cetera, that can be incredibly valuable to them. And on top of it, you'll learn how to be a creator yourself. So yeah, this one, um, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 just because it's hard to find one of these jobs. It's not like the easiest thing in the world, but long-term, this can definitely be a 10 out of 10, whether you're an employee or you start something yourself. All right, so field agent is another popular one. This is another one I heard about quite a bit on different forums throughout the internet. People did have pretty good things to say overall. And this is basically where you go out, you look at products and stores and you might take some pictures or a video and then maybe do like a product review on it. And then after you do a product review, you might fill out a survey, something along those lines. And this is basically another way of doing market research, except on physical products. Now, the reason I put this one a little bit lower than the other market research stuff is because you obviously have to kind of like drive to the store and review the product. So it's not something you can just do while you're in the bathroom or while you're taking a break or something like that. So for that reason, I will give this one a five out of 10 money score. Next one on the list is user testing. This is one that I have talked about on this channel and it can be really good. Good. So you can make anywhere from 10 to $15 per test typically. And there are a lot of people who report on different forums across the internet that they're making really good money from doing this. Now, this is not something where you're going to make like $1,000 a month. You might make $1,000 over a year, but it's a couple hundred extra bucks a month and it's really easy to do. Each task typically only takes like 15 to 20 minutes. So you're making like a dollar per minute in many cases. So this one definitely has a ceiling. You can only make so much. And on top of that, you're not really going to learn much from it. It doesn't really have much of a future. Future. But again, if you just want some extra beer money, just like the subreddit says, this is a pretty decent one. I'll give it a three out of 10 overall. Next, let's talk about Uber and Lyft. So this is where you are basically giving people transportation services. I think everybody knows exactly what this is. So this is one that, you know, it's talked about relatively bad on the internet. It's got kind of a bad rep, but realistically speaking, if you get fired from your job or you're in between jobs, you, you can't make any money. This is actually a really good option if you have a car. Now you do actually actually have to have a car. So you can't just make money purely from your phone. Like I said, just scrolling around answering surveys or whatever. You do have to actually have a car. So for that reason, I can't give it the highest score. But with that being said, you can make a full-time income from Uber and many people do. Now, this is probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life. But if you need to make money right away because you're in a pinch and you, you, know, you need to get to find another job or you just need to do something for a few months while you're in between jobs, something along those lines, Uber is fantastic. I'll give this one a seven out of 10. Next, let's talk about answering surveys. So this is one that's probably talked about the most on the internet. Like most of these survey
survey apps are absolutely terrible. Now there's a few okay ones out there, don't get me wrong, but uh, definitely check out Beer Money, the subreddit, if you wanna see which ones actually work, because most of them are just a complete waste of your time, effort, and money. So yeah, there's a few that actually work, but most of them you should totally avoid. Um, and I think it's pretty obvious, you literally just take surveys on your phone. It's pretty obvious what that is. So one of the other downsides of this one is you're gonna be giving them a ton of your data. And I don't know if you've looked into the data stuff, but it is super, super creepy how they're collecting our data. So I don't want them to have any more data than they already have. Uh, so for that reason, I'm gonna give this one a zero out of 10. Now, if you're somebody who wants to make extra money, you want to get into an entry level career, something that's actually going to teach you valuable skills. So you're not just making money right away when you get into the entry level career, but you have a future down the line, where you can make even more money easily get to the six figures within like five years or so. Check out this video right here where I go over the Google professional certificates because these these are certificates that are literally designed to teach you in-demand skills. And you can actually audit them for free, or if you choose to actually buy it and go through the course to complete it and get the certificate, it's only like $39 a month. So it's insanely cheap, and it's a way for you to basically check out a bunch of different in-demand, high-paying, entry-level careers where you do not need a college degree or previous experience. So I actually made a top five video on my top five favorite ones, which I'll put right here. Definitely check it out.